So Bellroy has a new line of cooler bags. I've been using them for about a month and today we're gonna to talk about them. It's an interesting release from the Australian B Corp, but the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. So let's get into it. But first, hello, my name is Roland from Rush Faster and at Rush Faster we do guides and walkthroughs, bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. Now if that melts your cold, cold heart, like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell. Now the bell, is, it's important, okay? And we also have a newsletter. Also, we're looking for new presenters. So if you like bags and you feel you can cobble together a video, we wanna hear from you. I'll leave the link in the description and that's also the email address that you can send us a, a message to on the screen. So Bellroy announced the release of their Cooler Tote and Cooler Caddy earlier this month and they're finally available. And we have our hands on them. And basically they're bags to keep things cold. They're sort of like a portable esky. Esky might be an Australian thing. I think for our American viewers, it's, a, it's an ice box or a cooler box. And if you're in New Zealand, it's a chili bin. Now these can be used for a variety of things. Shopping, markets, camping, festivals, keeping your drinks and snacks cold on a trip to the beach, transferring organs for surgery, perhaps, or just taking your lunch to work. As I said earlier, I've had these both for a month and I've used them way more than I thought I would. They come in handy a lot. It solves that problem of how do I transport something but keep it cold. Now sure, there are other ice boxes and coolers on the market, but few that look this good. With these, not only do you get the functionality of an ice box, you also get the design, the style, and the usability of Bellroy. Now I have to admit, this was not the release I expected from Bellroy. For a company that has such a solid lineup of EDC bags, travel bags, wallets, and other accessories that are pretty cool, for them to release something as unsexy as a cool bag was initially a bit of a surprise. But then I started thinking about Bellroy as a company. They're a certified B Corp, which means that they're leaders in the global movement for an inclusive, equitable, and regenerative economy. They produce recycled products using plastic bottles as well as leather-free products. In short, they care about the environment. And these cooler bags, as well as being made of recycled materials, can also replace disposable plastic bags, especially if they're used as shopping bags. So these bags are doing double good. Now, starting with the tote, this is the true blue color. Hey, true blue. It also comes in copper and charcoal, and this bad boy is 16 liters. The handle on the shoulder strap is about an inch wide piece of webbing. It's quite soft and there's no rigidity to it. It feels nice in the hand. There's vertical stitching on the whole length of the strap, which creates a ribbed look. And my guess is that they've done that for strength, but maybe also to affect the way that it twists and turns and doesn't get all tangled up. You can see it sort of unthreads quite nicely. And they've nailed the length of these straps. They're big enough to sling over your shoulder, but short enough to hold in your hand by your side without dragging the tote across the floor. That'll of course depend on your height, but for reference, I have five nine and it's been fine. Now it's not an exceptional strap by any means, but it hasn't caused me any issues. And that's the main thing. Now this zipper pull has a, an accented clay color or reddish brown. And it, this is the same color that's available on all colors of the tote. And you can see that the pull itself has a little heat shrink piece of plastic around the end, which makes it really easy to just sort of grab and go. The number eight YKK zippers are reverse coil and coated for water resistance. They have a nice smooth action. And you can see that the zipper itself is sort of like slightly recessed from the top of the bag. There's an orange rubber Bellroy logo here on the front. It's understated, but it provides a nice pop of contrast. The exterior is made of their 100% recycled fabric and it feels good. It crinkles and squishes in all the right ways. There are these two lines of stitching down the center on both the front and also on the back. And this appears to be holding the internal insulation in place. The front and the back panels are stitched together on the sides. So um, the only reason I can think of for there to be stitching here is to keep the internal insulation from moving, or maybe it's for aesthetics, or maybe it's both. On the bottom of the bag, there is this reinforced padding, which Bellroy says is to protect water bottles from drops and shocks, and prevents thermal bridging from hot surfaces. You can see that they're in four different sections rather than one whole big piece of padding. And this allows you to fold up this tote. So you can really, you can really squish it down and just kind of manipulate it however you need to manipulate it. This is a really neat trick and a practical way to make sure that the tote sees plenty of use. If it was always big and bulky, it would be really easy to leave it home in the cupboard. But because you can fold it up and stick it in your car or your backpack, you can just bring it anywhere. Moving inside, and I have nothing in here because I've been using this to transport carrots and mincemeat and milk, but I'll pack it out later to, to give you an idea of the capacity and what it looks like when it's full. Moving inside, we see the contrasting gray ripstop. And again, this color is the same color that appears on all of their totes. And there's no pockets or compartments, it's just one big bucket. 
Belroy has this internal bladder and they claim that it's waterproof. And if you have a look at the side seams, you can see that they've been sealed here. I feel like it would be remiss of me not to test the waterproof capabilities of this bag. So let's do that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get wet doing this and it's cold today. That's enough. <laughs> it looks pretty waterproof. Hmm? The head of production at Belroy has apparently said that you could uh, use this to transport a goldfish. Now you see that the tote has a puffiness to it and that's because of the insulation which is the 3M Thinsulate insulation made with recycled materials. That's what keeps everything cool and has the effect of making this bag very very soft. Let me fill this up with beer and see how it handles. Oh. So that's three six packs and I could also stick in an ice block there to keep everything cold. Zip it up and head to the park with the boys. Next up we have the Cooler Caddy and this is more of a lunch bag or cooler pouch. It's six litres and also comes in true blue, copper and charcoal. This colour is the copper and unsurprisingly it shares many of the same features as the tote but the Caddy has a few interesting tricks of its own. So a quick look around the bag and we see that the two pieces of fabric are meeting in the middle here and that stitching that we assume holds the insulation in place is also used here. So that results in cleaner side panels but a busier front and back. There's the same zipper pull, the same 3M Thinsulate insulation, the same seam sealed waterproof internal bladder and the same ability to pack it all down nice and small. Now the hero of the Cooler Caddy is this strap. It's got the same webbing that we found on the tote strap but it can be sort of detached like this. That means it can work as a handle, you can hang it off something or it can be attached to something bigger like another bag. Now here's my GoRuck GR1 and you can see that I could use the the webbing attachment here to sort of hook this bag on there and then carry, carry it on the outside of the pack and it would work just fine. And I'll also show you how easily you could sort of squish it into a bag. So. Now the other trick to be found is that the aluminium hook has a built-in bottle opener on it. So, you know, cheers. And speaking of having a drink, apparently this can hold a six pack. So let's check that out. <laughs> yes, no problems. So that's the Belroy Cooler Tote and the Belroy Cooler Caddy. An unexpected and welcome surprise from Belroy. I think that if you're an outdoors person or you shop at markets a lot, you're gonna enjoy these, but they're a product that I can recommend to anyone because I think that you're gonna use them a lot more often than you would expect to. They are really useful and quite versatile as well. Now, if you're interested in these or anything else that you've seen in this video, I'll leave links in the description below. And full disclosure, if you do make a purchase using those links, they go a long way to helping us do the work that we do here at Rush Faster. If you wanna see more videos from us, check out our YouTube channel, or we've hand selected a few videos that'll pop up at the end of this video. But until the next one, I've been Roland from Rush Faster. This has been the Belroy Cooler Tote and Belroy Cooler Caddy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. <laughs>